Why do I give? Why wouldn't I give? Why doesn't everybody give? You can say, I am a grateful patient. As a student, so many people poured into my life. They gave time, they gave resources when they did not have to. And so I made a commitment to give back. I, I do look at my contributions not as just a gift, but as an investment in our futures. I grew up here at the School of Medicine. I mean, it's uh, my career started here. Uh, all my opportunities that I've had in life started here. University of Maryland School of Medicine, research moves rapidly from the laboratory into clinical practice. This research inspires many donors interested in extending the frontiers of medicine. I believe this is medicine at its best. It creates programs that allow us to move forward, cure people, and create a better life around us. Just recently, after years of research, the pioneering surgical transplant team at the School of Medicine makes history, performing a face transplant. So we began the research in 2006. That's when I became part of the program. And at that time, we began to achieve some incredible results. And after a certain number of years of commitment with this research project, we reached this point that we realized, well, this, this could really work. The initial vision of Dr. Stephen Bartlett and the lifelong dream of Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez culminate in readiness to push forward the boundaries of medicine. But we were ready. It was such a magical moment. However, there is significant concern. Could we pull this off? But I was very, very confident that we could do this. This breakthrough inspires Hans-Jörg Wies to fund an endowed distinguished professorship memorializing a transgenerational quest to significantly advance facial transplantation. And we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to try to refine the surgery, shorten it, but also train other groups, other surgeons internationally that can continue this work. This work is very important. These breakthroughs inspire many donors who fully appreciate the profound impact of the new worlds in medicine. I think it is just simply amazing. So uh, impressed and admired and inspired by the research that is being done by the School of Medicine. Taking that research and innovations in research to the bedside and applying it to patient care, which has advanced patient care, teaching, everything. My late husband, Dr. Tyson Tilden, was neuroscientist at the School of Medicine for over 30 years. So by giving back to the University of Maryland, I'm helping to maintain those standards and honoring his legacy. For philanthropists, faculty, and alumni who envision the future of medicine, the education of the next generation of physicians and scientists inspires them to support the educational mission of the School of Medicine. I don't know that I could have accomplished the things I've accomplished so far in life without having gone here to the School of Medicine. There actually is an application for everything you're learning. With continually expanding boundaries, medical education now demands a research-based approach. So one of the challenges of medical education today is the amount of information that needs to be interpreted by medical students and throughout their careers is so much greater. Uh, and the challenge is to teach them not only the basics of histology and anatomy and the things that previous generations learned, but the ability to interpret all the data that will come at them throughout their lives. But I can dial in anything else I want. Well, we know that now most of what we teach them will be antiquated within a few years, so the most important thing is not only the information, but the tools with which to evaluate information moving forward. We really do need to help prepare our students to keep up with the rapid pace of information accumulation and all of the new evidence that's out there. Some of the ways that we do that are through exposing them to research opportunities. Many donors, inspired to support endowed professorships, enable the School of Medicine to attract world-renowned physicians and scientists involved in cutting-edge research. So the endowed professorships are wonderful for our actual faculty members for recruiting top quality faculty members and giving them a long-term home here at the University of Maryland. 
Gifts, establishing scholarships make it possible to recruit the brightest of students and to ensure diversity in our physician graduates. As thrilling as it is to get into medical school, it does come with a little bit of anxiety with how you're going to handle the financial burden that comes along with it. So it was definitely um, a game changer when I found out that I got that. Receiving a scholarship for the School of Medicine was very important to me. It just gave me a chance to focus more on my academics. As we all know, medical school can be very challenging, and I was just very relieved that I didn't have to worry about the financial burden that often comes with medical school. It's something really important for me to give back to the community that I'm from, so I want to do OBGYN, and I plan on um, practicing probably in a population very similar to where I grew up, which is an underserved population. The University of Maryland School of Medicine's mission to alter the face of medicine, preparing doctors responsive to the needs of all people, inspires gifts to support and create scholarship programs. They need help in terms of tuition. They need help in terms of financial support. And it's not just people who are ethnic diversity, but people who are unable because of economic reasons to compete. And I think everybody should be included in this. You can't turn anybody away these days if they're capable of doing the job. So that's the kind of diversity I'm talking about, and I'll continue to give money for that. Uh, I'm really grateful to be connected to the University of Maryland School of Medicine and to have the opportunity to support the Wilson uh, Fund, which does provide grants and scholarships to deserving uh, students who would otherwise not have that opportunity. I, it's, it was my life's dream to be able to make a difference in the lives of children with special needs and for their families as well. And that's been the focus of my entire career. And I've loved every minute of it. And I thank University of Maryland for having given me the education that I needed to be able to do it. I have a sense of obligation to try and give a little bit something back so that those who come after me can receive some of the same benefit. The research efforts of Dr. Rappaport and other School of Medicine physician scientists provide the most advanced treatments. Contributions from grateful patients support this vital mission, benefiting all patients. Clinicians and oncologists are working very closely with basic scientists to bring discoveries in the laboratory very quickly to the patient's bedside. Take deep breaths for me. Dr. Rappaport daily sees the power of his research in his clinical practice, where cancer patients are now offered new therapies. Well, then it was quite a shock when you get the word that A, you have cancer, and B, it's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Once they recovered from getting that bad news, then the question is, how do you beat it? And thankfully, I had a great team of doctors led by Dr. Aaron Rappaport that attacked it with a vengeance, and so you can say, I am a grateful patient. It's a, a wonderful full circle where Gary has benefited from clinical research that came before him, but he has helped to propel the, uh, the field forward and further along for the benefit of future generations. The Cancer Center is named in honor of my parents, Marlene and Stuart Greenbaum. They saved my, my parent, both my parents' lives, uh, so I am forever dedicated to everyone in this wonderful institution. There are a lot of breakthrough uh, uh, medical procedures and practices that are happening all the time at the University of Maryland. You, you have that legacy of commitment and uh, I want to be part of it. Uh, you know that you're receiving uh, the best care and cutting edge technology. The moment the doctor said, your husband needs a kidney, within less than a second, I said, I'll donate my kidney. I am also very grateful and uh, in some sense it was a miracle that it matched. How are you? The Bartlett, there's not a day we don't think of you. Is that right? Thank you for giving my husband a second yes. chance in life. Man, he looks Every lot. day we think of you. I yeah. think you're just next to God. Oh, People need doctors like you yeah. and you're just an exception. Thank you, Dr. Bartlett, from okay. our hearts. Right. We thank you for all that Good. you've done for us. Every day at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, philanthropy makes a difference to the future of medicine. With the power of philanthropy, we can transform medicine. This is what inspires us to give.